Before we get into today's video, do not forget to slap that like button. I'll wait a second. Three, two, one. Okay, and do not forget to subscribe to officially join the PG Squad. It is so, so important that you subscribe. That way you never miss another video. Visit SayPG.shop to get your hands on official PG Squad merch today. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, PG Squad. Today, I am so excited because I'm going to be teaching you guys how to trade like a pro in Adopt Me. Now, I know that there are a ton of trading videos, you know, like on Adopt Me, on YouTube, and stuff like that. So, I don't know if anyone's ever made like a trading tips and tricks video. I mean, I'm sure that they have, but I'm going to show you guys my tricks and tips, my tips and tricks from all the experience I have trading in Adopt Me because it is a little bit more of a mind game than you think. So, I'm about to expose all, tell all. So, Buckle up and uh, enjoy, I guess. Here we are in Adami with our lovely reminder to use code Megan Place on purchasing Robux. And of course, we are on our 225 day login day streak. So make sure you guys comment yours down below. I want to know how close you guys are to that golden egg. I am still very far off, but you know, we're doing our best. We just got our golden egg. So, you know. That's all you can do, right? So guys, let's get into the trading information. I made a list so I could stay as organized as possible. Okay, so this first one is pretty simple and it's kind of a no brainer, but I thought I would point it out and put it at the beginning anyway. It is important to know what pets are limited, what pets are never coming back, how old a pet is, and you know, what's a constant in the game. So for example, if we scroll through this list really quick, I can tell you pretty much what every pet is and what category it falls into. The monkey and the albino monkey are going Going to be coming back into the game every few weeks or a couple months so they will remain constants in the games however they are limited in their own sense and this is the only pet that has been leaving and returning into the game next up we have the arctic reindeer the arctic reindeer is a limited pet from december of 2018 or 19 december 2019 along with the arctic reindeer the robin the wolf and the polar bear and the swan so all of those you could only get if you were playing the game in december of 2018 the aussie egg is still in game for now but it's going to leave soon kind of similar to the safari egg the jungle egg and the cow egg so that is you know kind of important to note bat dragon that was halloween 2019 christmas egg that was christmas the crow and the owl they are legendaries from the farm egg which is never coming back into the game dragons and unicorns are constant whereas the evil unicorn was only available in halloween of 2019 so you won't be able to get that one again unless they bring some of these pets back in october or december of 2020 but we currently don't have confirmation of that. Frost Dragons, same thing, Christmas 2019, the draft was a part of the Safari Egg, never coming back. Golden Dragons, Golden Unicorns are constants in the game, and as the game kind of progresses and as more people have a chance to play the game, more of these will start to pop up, but right now they are extremely, extremely rare. Of course, we have the Golden Penguin, legendary, but a constant in the game, Golden Rat, only available during the Lunar New Year, so it will not be here forever. Golden Unicorn, as mentioned, it's the same as the Golden Dragon. Kangaroo, it is an Aussie Egg legendary so it will be heading away soon we have the king bee which is a constant in the game you can go get him over at the coffee shop we have the monkey king the ninja king the ninja king the monkey ninja the monkey ninja any monkey pet are constants in the game and should be treated as such the parrots are legendaries from the jungle egg and then of course we have the legendary queen bee which you guys can get from the coffee shop as well as the king bee of course the queen bee is going to be more legendary royal eggs constant shadow dragon Dragon, arguably one of the most legendary pets in the game along with the frost dragon those are worth very high trade value guys super important to note these were only available in Halloween and then I'm only gonna go over the legendaries by the way the turtle that is a legendary from the Aussie eggs which is going away soon I only have three so I need to get more and then we have unicorns unicorns are interesting because they are some of the most sought after pets in the entire game there is a lot that you could get for a unicorn there's a lot of people who were not willing to trade away their unicorns although they are a constant in the game and you can just get them from the royal eggs so all that is super important to note legendaries aside the ultra rares commons and uncommons people don't really care about those they don't really care about alligators or um like if we just scroll kind of down here they don't really care about like rhinos or weasels these shrews they're not weasels they don't really care about the shrews or like anything below a legendary that's not limited so people don't really care about the swans in my opinion so guys as a rule of thumb if you guys have an older item in the game just know if it's not a legendary you're probably not going to get much for it so i would trade it away as soon as you get an offer of something that you like just because these don't hold value i think it might just be because of awareness i think a lot of people aren't aware of these pets so doing trades for them if you get something good that's great but you guys might not 
This brings me to the second point in my list. Always utilize trading for eggs, guys. I guarantee you that you will get better trades for eggs as you will the pets that spawn out of those eggs. For example, if you have yourself a Christmas egg that has so much more trade power than, for example, a robin, which you would probably pull from the egg anyway. Let's see if we can do an example here. Look here, so we are right now trading a Christmas egg and they are willing to offer us two ginger cats and they're like, that's good, I accept that. But if we take and we add in a robin, I I guarantee you that they will start taking some of these items away. It happens every single time. See, they took everything away and now we're being offered a common dog. They're probably gonna get a robin anyway from the Christmas egg. So you harbor so much trade power with your eggs, especially eggs that are no longer in the game. For example, a Christmas egg, a safari egg, a jungle egg. The safari jungle eggs and farm eggs, I'm sure you could get a lot for. I feel like the Christmas eggs you don't get that much for. So like, for example, the farm egg, it was here a while ago. And then we have, I don't have any safari or jungle eggs, just this one. And soon guys, the Aussie eggs, they're going to be going too. So make sure you guys stock up and save up. If you guys are happy with what you have from the Aussie eggs, definitely start buying them and holding onto them because they have a lot more trade power than your average uh, dingo or Aussie Kelpie. <laughs> that transitions us into our next point. No funny business, zero funny business policy over here on the Megan Plays PG Squad channel. Guys, this is super important to me. There are so many traders who will try to take advantage of you or or jerk you around by making you second guess your trade. Don't fall for it. Basically what I'm talking about is if you put in like something super awesome for a trade, like let's see if we can trade this girl as an example, but say she offers us like a unicorn and we're like, yeah, we'll do that trade. That's awesome. So if we're here and then immediately she takes away the unicorn and starts putting in like common pets or pets I wouldn't be willing to do the trade for, I immediately decline. Generally like if they put something I really want in uh, and then they take it away, I just decline the trade because declining the trade immediately tells them that you are into that trade for that legendary item or for that specific pet. So once that pet is taken out of the equation, you're no longer interested. And the best way you can let them know that is by declining. Instead of having them waste your time to put in some common pets and make you wait for the 10 second countdown so that you can click accept. No, because if you weren't gonna accept anyway, just go ahead, cancel out that trade and let them know like, no, I was in it for the legendary. That's super important because so many people will try to mess you around or see what they can get away with. That transitions us into our next point, guys. Our next point is, do not be too eager when accepting a trade. I know this kind of goes hand in hand a little bit with the last item we just talked about, but this is a little different. Say you're doing a trade and you like what they're offering. Do not immediately accept that trade. At least wait like three or four seconds after the button has turned green to press accept because being too eager can make a trader know that you are super interested in that trade and then they will immediately take away some of those items and try to get away with less. So by letting them know how interested you are, they try to basically rip you off. It's not cool, it's not fun. Also holding back on your trade lets them know like you aren't sure if it's a good deal or if it's worth it for you. That way they probably wouldn't even risk removing any items that might derail the trade. You can hold all the power if you just do these simple steps by not immediately accepting. Trust me, it happens a lot where I get super excited, I click accept and then people try to take a ton of things away or just trade it, like make a completely different trade, one that I didn't sign up for before. So just holding that extra couple seconds, holding your breath for a little bit, lets them know that you'll accept it, just not immediately. You know, our last one is super, super important. If we go into the trade menu here, guys, I want to point this out because I know it gets really easy to go on autopilot and skip things. Be careful when trading. Never trade items for bucks or robux. Only use the trade menu to trade items. You may get scammed. Stay safe. Now, this is super important. Whenever somebody wants to trade you bucks or robux for a pet, that's generally called a trust trade. We do not do those over here on the Peachy Squad channel because guarantee you will probably lose whatever pet you were super excited about getting. So a Trust trade would be like if somebody said, give me a unicorn and I'll give you 5,000 Robux. One, that's against Roblox terms of service and it's against Adopt Me terms of service. Don't do that. Like you could get your whole account banned, okay? Two, they probably won't give you the Robux. They'll just take your unicorn, log off, and chances are they're probably on an alternate account anyway, and they will suffer no consequence. They will trade that away to another main account and then they'll have your pet guilt 
free. Oh, it's so awful when people do this to each other, but it happens, guys. So I want to keep you safe. Do not ever do trades outside of the trade squares. There's no need for it. If you guys are trying to get yourself a frost dragon, like, and you need to offer more than a few pets, like, it just, just don't because it's just not going to be worth it. And then I'm going to get another message about how you guys got scammed because I actually get like 50 of these a day. And I know that people think that YouTubers can do something about this. I know that people think YouTubers can just get their pet back or YouTubers can contact the person who scammed them and try to convince them to get back or contact the Roblox team. We can't. We don't have any power along those lines. I hold zero power. I mean, I have a pretty stacked inventory, but it's definitely not like an adopt me stacked inventory. Like I have three frost dragons. Like if I go to my candy cannons, I don't have any. I don't have a single one. Like adopt me is not stacking my account. Granted, they have given me a gift before a golden unicorn um, during a trial and tribulation I went through back in March. I don't have the assets to make it better for all of my lovely PG Squad members. So all I can do is sit here and advocate for not doing trust trades and only be willing to lose items for the risk. Somebody actually submitted a um, adopt me claim underneath my email, so I got it. Don't do that. Um, adopt me knows my email and they will not help any of those because <laughs> like they know it's not from me. So somebody actually put in like they got scammed out of their frost dragon and they wanted to adopt me to fix it and um, they put like their username in but my email. And then I got an email back from adopt me saying like they are overpacked overpacked with inquiries about scamming and currently they just don't have the manpower to get through them all if they're getting thousands and thousands a day yours will not be hurt so do not do trust trades at the end of the day the most important trades and the best trades are the ones that you are happy with never let anybody tell you that your pet is not as valuable because it is not their ideal standard of a dream pet beauty is in the eye of the beholder and as long as you are happy with the pet that you traded for that is all you can really do right like you could just be happy with what you have if your dream pet is a capybara let it be a capybara own the best capybara you have ever owned guys like it is all up to you and what you feel is right in your heart and what you're most excited about and that at the end of the day is an amazing trade so guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you loved it do not forget to hit the like button subscribe button leave a comment down below peachy squad i would so much appreciate it also if you guys ever want to join me in game like all of these lovely people right here you can do so my username is the megan plays it is linked down below do not forget peachy squad you can check out all the videos floating by my face right here if you enjoyed this one you might enjoy some of those do not forget to hashtag stay peachy stay kind use code megan plays when purchasing robux and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!